David Boy, it is time for your uh, fourth and then, oh, and then final, final pick. So fourth pick, I need a condiment. Yep. So we've got the waffle. Waffle, outside. chicken fried steak, ricotta. Or chicken fried steak, so ricotta. Bad. I'm going as a condiment and just light, not a lot. You don't yeah. want to go crazy with this. Apple butter. Oh. <laughs> That's another very sweet thing. It is thing. so sweet. <laughs> but just like a thin. Just a whisper of apple butter. Just Still. A, just a light. Just put an apple near it for a second, then yeah, take yeah. the apple away. Just kiss it. Then just, just kiss say it. a poem in between the apple and the sandwich. Yeah. And yeah. Then whatever, Listen to some cold play. Over. <laughs> and watch a Gwyneth Paltrow movie, At knowing the that apple. they named their kid Apple. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and that's just, it. Sure. And let's have your sandwich in the room. Maybe just there's the a essence. Macintosh in the other room. Yeah, just yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Use an iPod. <laughs> <laughs> just and that then, small and amount of just, apple butter. Just ever, ever so gently. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the sandwich while this is happening, and then whatever essence of the apple goes to the Call sandwich. Call Sean's friend Smith's grandma. <laughs> Put her on the phone with your sandwich. <laughs> Granny Smith. Granny Smith. Just Can you just say, just whisper the word butter to my waffle. <laughs> just whisper butter to my waffle. <laughs> and since it's on an iPhone, that's you know, going to help. Yeah, okay. Watch the Straight Outta Compton movie. <laughs> Pause it on that scene where Dre is leaving Death Row Records. Right there. And Suge Knight is in that all red room. Sure. Suge Knight is a red delicious. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's his name is Suge. <laughs> and he's a blood. Red delicious. That ha- that's how much apple butter. The, that's just yeah. Just, just a that. Ooh, just it. Just ooh. Just, just, just a, a little, little bit. bit. Just it. Ooh, not just too much. A just a bit. just a light because it's already sweet. It's a very sweet sandwich, now, which is also. David, you open it up. <laughs> yes. You made the Ellen Clay Gorn. Mm-hmm. waffles, chicken fried steak, ricotta, apple butter, and corned beef. Thin, thin, or medium sliced corned beef. <laughs> how much apple butter? Just a uh, man. <laughs> you're gonna peel an apple. Yeah. Uh-huh. You you're take, gonna take those peels. Uh-huh. You're gonna put them in a bag. You're gonna mix them with some other fruits. You're mm-hmm. gonna let them. Okay. You're gonna. You're gonna so let like them, get to know the other fruits. Yeah, they're gonna get to know the other fruits. Mm-hmm. You're gonna put some water in there. You're gonna put mixer. some yeast in there. Mm-hmm. You're gonna make you some pruno. You put it behind the toilet four yep. or five days. You make some <laughs> apple skin pruno. Uh-huh. Then you're gonna drink some of that pruno. You're gonna get it enough to get drunk. Uh-huh. Enough to get drunk. Yeah, yeah. Then you're gonna puke. You're gonna puke that up. Yeah, you wanna have a good time. And then you're going to have to cough. Yep. You're going oh, to cough into a napkin. Uh-huh. And then you're just going to take a fan, uh-huh. and you're going to take that napkin, and you're going to put the waffle in front of the, the napkin, in okay. front of the fan, and you're just going to let that blow on. So not a lot. Not just, a lot of just, uh, okay. just Just the remnants of some puke. <laughs> just a tiny bit. Just a puke remnant. <laughs> just a so, tiny bit. Just, just a... Just a... Just a... Ooh, just a dab. Just a, just a dollop. I'm saying, like, you, you're a... You're a... You, you're growing up on a farm. Uh-huh. <laughs> You've been there your whole life. You've been there whole your life. You're your 13, life. You 14 years old. You don't know anything old, different. Right? You don't even know there were cities. And you grew up, the, 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 same, the, same, the week you were born, uh-huh. your, pa, your pa also bought a young foal, a oh, baby horse, right? Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and the two of you kind of grew up together. Sure. You were friends. You'd run through the hills, you know what I mean? <laughs> you'd do chores together. Sometimes yeah. the horse, Clarence was the horse's name. Yeah. Would pull like a you know like a yoke yeah, and like help till the field. You can't pull that yourself. No, That's but you would, you'd be there. You know you'd be petting Clarence and everything. Yeah, and uh, you're 14, 15 years old now, right? Sure, so a little Clarence. older, a little horses, more life experience. Yeah, horses live longer. You know, the yeah. horse can live to 30, 40 years old. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But how's Pa doing? Pa's great. He's Pa's okay. Don't worry about Pa. <laughs> yeah, this is your time. You're growing larger in yeah. ways and tastes. You know, you're out in the, you're out in the fields. <laughs> And you you don't even think about your future at this point, right? Because you're 13, 14 years old. You're like, right. I'm going to – my father's a farmer. I'm a farmer. I have this horse, Clarence. Where would I go? Yeah. Why well, leave? Yeah. It's dusk, oh. right? Uh-huh. And you and Clarence are out walking. The day of. And uh, <laughs> Clarence takes a little misstep. No. There was a gopher hole he didn't see. No. Okay, he didn't. He you, didn't were some, he you were in some medium brush, not high brush, but he, he takes. He, he doesn't see. You don't see it either. Nobody no. sees it. Yeah, yeah. St- steps wrong. And that that front right leg. Oh, God. it doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah, it snaps. Oh, it snaps. It's loud too. You. Get, it's like a, the cacophonous, like a shotgun going off. Right? Shoots off through the orchard. Oh my God! You can hear it. It bounces off the farm. Birds, it's an echo. birds Barn. flying away. Birds flying into the dusk. It looks pretty, but you're bummed. The light clicks on in the house because mm-hmm. Pa heard it. Horse goes down. Clarence is on the ground. And you know, you've been on the farm long enough to know what this means. You've seen it. He's not long for this world. This is the life we chose. One thing Clarence always loved 
little bite of an apple. John. Fresh apple. And you run over. Paul's coming out. He's like, what happened? He's like, Clarence stepped in a gopher hole. But you're running to the you're running to the apple tree. Yeah. And you find the best, biggest, brightest apple, the one you were saving for your mom's apple pie. Mm-hmm. Because the state fair is coming up. That's two, three weeks away. You pluck it off the tree. She wants to win again. You run it back and you feed that apple to Clarence. And then your dad comes out with a gun. He's like, you go back. You go back to the farmhouse and you say, no, Pa. He's my horse. I'll do this. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you do it. You, have, you, you put him down. There's no way to recover from that. You put Clarence down. and You give him a proper burial. And... It turns out that it was sort of a liberating experience for you, too, because once Clarence died, the sense of obligation to stay on this farm and also become a farmer died with it. It broke down the walls. Yeah. You apply to college, you know? You get in. You go off to school. Yeah. All of a sudden, now your light, your horizons have expanded, you know? And on the day you graduate from college, you come back to the farm and you walk up to where Clarence was buried. And there's a little rock marking it. Mm-hmm. And there's a, there's a flower growing out from Clarence's grave. And you kneel down. And you smell it. And, and you swear that there's just a little part of you that can still smell some of that apple that you fed Clarence that day. Uh-huh. And like that much apple butter. <laughs> <laughs> Just that much apple butter. <laughs> Pretty good, Carmel. <laughs> Pretty good, Carmel. <laughs> <laughs>